Good morning, everyone. This is Jay Shri, Assistant Professor, Department of uh, AAA. So now we discuss upon uh, what is a digital twin. It is a very useful technology uh, progressing nowadays uh, combined with the blockchain technology. Right. So digital twin is uh, nothing but uh, creating twins we all know. So what is digital twin? twin? So digital twin is uh, creating a model that is in a um, digital model, that is vir virtual model of an any object, we call it as a digital twin. If you see in this picture, there is a motor, this is an actual motor, then like the actual motor, a motor is created virtually using softwares. So this is a technology. Similarly, we can create uh, any models in, a, for example, a building in construction industries, buildings uh, are created using models, modeling. So that thing we call it as virtual model. So this type of uh, modeling, that is physical uh, modeling a physical process into a virtual one uh, reduces, uh, uh, it optimizes the cost and improves the business. So these are the, some of the advantages of digital twin technology. So here I give a small a brief intro about a digital twin, right? A digital twin is an exact digital logical uh, cyber virtual representation replica of an tangible physical system or process. The manufacturing industry had embraced the digital twin technology long time back to be modern in their operations and outputs. The digital twin enabled data scientists and system designers to optimize a number of things, including process excellence, knowledge discovery and dissemination in time, better system design, robust verification and validation, etc. In the recent past, with the flourishing of the blockchain technology, the scope of digital twins has gone up remarkably. Usually blockchain technology we use for maintaining security, to maintain the database in a secure way, we use blockchain technology. So here it is uh, nowadays, it is uh, by linking the blockchain, blockchain technology and uh, digital twin technology, um, a lot of, there is a huge, uh, huge scope uh, for this uh, combined technology. So that thing we discuss in the upcoming uh, videos. When you are using, when you are using your mobile phone, this, uh, this uh, everyone could experience this uh, uh, type um, uh, activity. When uh, this experience, when you are using your mobile phone for your communication, commute, computing, and collaboration purposes, surfing the internet using your laptop for knowledge gain, storing your data in cloud environments for affordability using social networking, tools to socialize, etc. Actually, what we are doing is actually we are creating uh, a digital footprint of yourself. So the digital footprint is a kind of digital twin. Similarly, you can think of digital blueprints for a building as its digital twin. Uh, uh, we also, uh, everyone could uh, have this type of experience. Um, if you are searching, uh, browsing, about uh, any topic, otherwise, if you are searching to purchase a shoe, if, uh, if you're searching a different types of shoes, means automatically the browser recommends you few uh, few uh, um, uh, shoe companies. There is brands, cost, and sizes, uh, and when we look at what is the features that and us. So we are creating a digital footprint. Um, uh, so that is in virtual way, uh, which uh, thereby the manufacturer, the companies, the dealers uses the digital prints and they are using it uh, in a for marketing strategy. This is also a digital print. That is that thing we call it as digital footprint. 
Okay. So a um, computer simulation of an aircraft engine can be a SIPS digital twin. Then uh, the digital twin of machines can predict the need for their timely maintenance. Similarly, digital twins help to come out with the next generation machine design that is versatile, resilient, and robust. Precisely speaking, the digital twins are digital replicas of a business process or product over its life cycle. Thank you. We'll continue the, uh, uh, the same technology in, uh, in, in a higher way in the next class. In the next video. Thank you.